If you have an Uther and you see that he's solo laning, understand that it should be Thrall who's doing that. If we're 15.8 and the opponent is 15 flat and there is 25 minions up top, go get him. Go get him, son. Ah, thanks, uh, Osha Gugano. You just tried the new Merlin build, uh, Nirif? I guess Heavy Auto Tech did wonderfully. Nice. Hi, hi. Kirby went to go with Divine Storm, like back then. So back then, there was Sprint Divine Storm. I, I played a lot you. of Uther back then. For the Raisin Bun Fund. <laughs> Thanks, Panama Red 89 Yeah, back then it was Sprint and Divine Storm. I don't use it a lot anymore. I would only take Divine Storm now to, if I'm second support, like let's say we have Tassadar as well, or Uther Karazim. Why would you do that? But okay, still. Are we really going for Vikings? Then I'll get Thrall. Where will we end up this time? Thrall and Vikings are some of the best um, teammates. But let me explain that in just a second. Congrats on using good cleanse. Thanks. Illidan plus Greyman together is funny to play on low ranks. Will it work on high ranks? Uh, it can. Yes, it can. Uh, to compare, we just had Illidan Thrall and that worked. They are two melee assassins. And Greyman is a nuanced melee assassin. What is the best supporter in your opinion and why? Uh, I think the best one is Karazim. Let's fly. Karazim. Why? It's because he can, he can finish people with his Q. Kill them and then get back to safety. And he's got really good healing output. And free healing when there's no opponents. By just punching things. Uh, what do I ban? What do I ban? God, I don't know, man. Let's just ban Karazin. Maybe I should have banned Uther, but we just talked about him, so. Shakugan. Okay. Oh, the O's are just, uh... Okay, I see. Decorations. Don't do that here, Katsu. Your audio sync is slightly delayed. Uh, I, I'll have to see, look into that later. I thank you. Please look at that picture, carrot, carrot. Uh, stitches, not so good with bikes. I will fight to my last breath. Bring the mega death. The light abandons no man. Hold on, guys. I just want to do the draft first. Again. Hey Josh, it was all right. Do you think Grayman is viable and good? Yes and yes. Oh, cool to hear, Timisan. Thanks for the feedback. Oh, was that Dead Moon's Vikings yesterday, Toby92? Oh gosh, yeah, they didn't kill Vikings even with Faustan and Grayman. That was painful. 
Uh, so you said, look at that picture. Okay, I'm looking at it now. Uh, 999 points to promote. One point needed. <laughs> Sousa. Oh man, that's unlucky. Va bien te faire enculer sale petit de taris. Hey, trumpet, okay. That is not okay. I'm gonna ban you for that. Or let's just give you a warning, a timeout. Okay, don't do that. Even French flaming is not cool. Alright, I'm gonna go with Rolling Thunder. Thrall is the perfect pick here with Vikings for a few reasons. One is he kills Vikings pretty okay, so I take it away from the opponent. Two, with Rolling Thunder bonus range, you can or, uh, cancel the opponent's tributes more easily. Three, you want a melee assassin with uh, Vikings because you want the kill potential. While Vikings soak, you want to go kill people. And there we go, that's the first kill. Easy peasy. Now they will think that we're going to hang around at the bottom more. So if we just walk like this. Don't show. Oh, they don't get it. Too bad. Well, I'll just take the Phantom then. I mean the Watchtower. Arthas is going to roam up. He would be a pretty easy gank. Everyone, get in here! Look at Tracer's chase potential. That's just perfect. Boom. Headshot. That's why I like Tracer. She gets the job done. Strategy. Never get that feeling of freaking owned. Now he's sued. Yes. Grayman is playing more aggressively. Let's get him. How to play against Vikings? Dude, I need to write a freaking guide on that. Because people get it wrong all the time. Knock him dead. Easy peasy. Um, I'll get... Uh, I'll get Spirit Journey. This feels so unfair. <laughs> Six kills before the first tribute. What is this? That's a pretty long... Uh... We should enlist the aid of these mercenaries. Prediction Wolf, but uh, yeah. could you s explain why Thrall and Vikings are good picks together? Yeah, I can try to explain, but how about I just try to do the guide soon? Okay, I already explained, right? Vikings soak. You don't need characters with wave clear, you don't need characters with global, you just need to run around and kill people. Thrall kills people. That makes him great. Also, if you cannot burst through your opponent quickly, you can choose to buy a lot of time. Let's say we're fighting over the objective. Okay? But we can't capture the objective. We're just buying time. Well, then Rolling Thunder is a great way to do so. Because 
It is big range. You can cancel every six seconds with your chain lightning. God, Spirit Journey is such a big range. Can't believe it that we're 7 0, but we're only a level or half a level ahead. That's because this Vikings player is playing safe. Instead of what I usually do, which is play super greedy. And as a result, he has very few deaths. First death. Nice cleanse by Oppo. Do we still cap it? Could have been a curse, maybe it was dumb. I think we might just have to give this one up. Though, I you know I wanna show you Rolling Thunder value. Buying time while Vikings are so good. But of course, uh, it led to my death because it was through too many people. But you can see how buying time with Vikings is valuable because you get all these pushes. And this is why Greyman is good against Vikings and Falstaff. They secure kills, but they actually failed to get it. Maybe because I warned him, maybe because his map awareness was good enough, maybe they failed. Now, imagine a world where we didn't have one dead already. ETC is around. It's a bit more equal. We're one level ahead, which is very believable with Vikings. And then you're against. Uh, then you choose to uh, Rolling Thunder by time. You can see how that would be very valuable. Do we have alts? We do. Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? <laughs> Stop chasing Arthas. the value hey you can actually walk through tower i'm not sure if he's aware of it because the minions are low do they not see him okay <laughs> don't march okay he has a uh, play again we're still equal xp we are a tribute down It's never over when it's a curse. Your time has come. Right. And there's a bunch of people there. At least we're getting XP in every lane, thanks to the Vikings. Now we can fight. Oh shit! Well, the beginning was the easy part. Now we're messing up a bit. We di didn't get a mosh pit yet, right? 
Uh, I'm gonna go giant killer. A clever strategy. Attack here, my warriors. That's fine. He's in fact buying time for them not to start the boss too early yet. We're too late for boss anyway. We're not gonna have a curse yet, but we might. I think we'll be level 16 by the time the next curse shows up. So I think we'll probably be fine. Attack here, my warriors. Okay. They're not supporting the boss well enough. And it's actually taking a lot of bonus damage from those Merc Lord at Siege Camps. Nice. What the? Range on the Feral Spirit is so good! Sweet! Now we can fight, we can fight. Arthur's ain't here. Grim in a stop. At worst, we're 4v4. Tempest Fury, Tempest Fury Giant Killer. We don't know where they are. Greyman's mid. Yeah. Move, ETC. The marsh failed. Just move. I had a feeling about that because there were, it was way too quiet on the map. Get him. Nice. If I started capping, that wouldn't have happened. Hope he lives. So we get cursed that I'm dead. But Greyman is dead too. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, Tracer's dead. Okay, she's not. Stop fighting. Oh, way too many people trying to save each other. Rhaegar should have left me. Tracer and ETC should have left Rhaegar. Oh no. Does he have Relentless Predator? Greymane, no. Executioner. There are no bosses off. 25 seconds. Just keep our keeps alive, and then we'll fight over the boss. And so the curse ends. Perhaps not. It's value. Just do it fast. Yeah. 
I didn't want to take any chances. We should kind of disengage. We can get a second boss. Yes. Why not green Ellie Wolf with this skin? I did choose it, but it didn't show up, mate. It's Half-Life, we can do this. XP from this and the bonus push. Now we can get our bruisers. And now it's only three versus three keeps. They can fall on Gusta, so. Vikings will give it to us. Got pulled at the storm. They used to just leave. Wait for Fausto to fly in and kill himself. Never a truer prediction. Okay. You've been training. The worst typo ever. It's 4 v- oh yeah, okay, it's over. I will eat a sock if we lose this. Such a great early game, such a difficult mid game, and then great late game again. No, we didn't lose. I don't have to eat a sock. So that was nice. That was nice. Did I say Endmuid? It sounds like an old god. Whispers of the old god. Endmuid! Endmuid! Yeah, we had a bunch of mistakes, but it made a pretty cool game anyway. Don't ever commit to eating socks, you never know what happens. Well, I imagine I would have a hell of a day next day on the toilet. <laughs> it was so cool to see Falstead flying in again. And we were ready for it. I think the key moment in this game was when we fight for their tribute, I got the Feral Spirit to cancel the tribute at 99% at max range. And then uh, we engaged on the left side, Tracer cancelled it again, Recalled out. Arthas was in front. We all attacked him. He used Army of the Dead and we weren't back. If we were either, one, unable to get back, or two, uh, unwilling to, or three, someone would get picked off, 
or like not everyone follow a call i don't know like under any of those circumstances it could have been really really bad now when they casted army of the dead that would have been the perfect moment for falsa to fly in and gust us into them because then they can still get army of the dead value but when they finally keep chasing, keep chasing, Army of the Dead was out. Guess what? We still had all of our heroics. And Arthas missed some of that potential uh, to save himself. And then luckily I hit my wolf on Falstad. We got an easy proc of Divine Shield on him. And then, yeah, then Grey Man Li Ming got uh, mosh pitted by ETC, which was great. Uh, they got saved from it. I don't know exactly how. Maybe cleanse on Li Ming and then wave of force. I think that's what happened. Uther played pretty well, um, but it was a hard game for him. And then, yeah, the chase, obviously. Yeru Aswin says, hey, I'm really bad with most assassins. Is it worth it as a first pick in Hero League to take an OP hero and play it suboptimally, or should I stick to my guns? Generally, there is a pretty big emphasis, Yeru Aswin, to take a high tier assassin. Try to get comfortable with one, for example, Thrall or Zagara. I know Zagara isn't an assassin, but she plays like it a little bit. So Zagara is almost always available and you're not gimping your team with it. Now, if you take Vala first pick, that is a little bit weak and will make a weak draft, to be honest. If you open up, however, with non-assassin because you really don't want to, how about going for a Nubarak, which is one of the most diverse warriors and perfectly capable of being in a solo warrior team as well as a double warrior team. He also counters the favorite pick on the ladder, Kel'thas, Li Ming, mage, uh, mage builds, because he has dampened magic. So Anubrak, I would say, is the best first pick non-assassin, if we don't count Zagara, because I kind of group her with the damage dealers. If you don't want that either, Rhaegar as a healer. Some of the best first picks draft-wise, not considering who you might be good with or weak. My name is Endmuid, and I found it offensive. <laughs> Which assassin do you think has the most DPS? In a in a vacuum, that's Greymane. But in a real game, Kel'thas. So this was sick. I had someone tell me today, how about taking Spirit Journey instead of Envenom? I used to love this talent. Okay, let me tell you about my Thrall history. Battle Momentum Thrall came out, he was broken as hell, I didn't like Thrall, I wasn't strong on him and I died a lot, even though he was supposed to have insane self-sustain. Then, I was not so good on Thrall, ignored him for a while, started playing him, it was meh. Once I started using Spirit Journey with Restless Wolves at 13, I got good with Thrall. With this talent, because I was finally hitting my wolves. Then, I stopped playing him for a while, got bad at him again. I had still, I was still using wind shear and uh, sometimes using the grace of air. When I started using the chain lightning follow through build with the second chain lightning charge, I got good at him again, and I remained good at him since. You know, from my perspective, of course, there's a hundred thralls out there probably better than me. Uh, and then finally, I came to the QQ follow through giant killer tempest fury build, which I very occasionally switched up with spell shield and a second charge of chain lightning but not that often anymore because I really love it. You can even burst tanks with Giant Killer Tempest Fury. But now replacing the uh, healing talent at four and a little bit of extra damage and cancels of, you know, mounting for this one. And it was great. And guess what? Cursed Hollow and Altar, uh, Towers, of, Towers of Doom. Cursed Hollow and Towers of Doom are some of the best to take this one on because that's the second cooldown that you can use to cancel something at really far range. That's a big percentage, 50%. Lunar Blaze at level 7 for Taronda is a, almost a must take. And this is 50%. Lunar Blaze is only 40. I love it. Now, do keep in mind that when you have Vikings, you're allowed to take a little bit less self sustain. Because generally speaking, look at that. XP contribution. You are expected, as the four man team, to take a team of heroes that are one ranged assassin, one melee assassin, one warrior and one uh, support, preferably with a lot of kill potential, good burst, and wave clear is not important. You stay together as four and you kill people, okay? You kill people, you go around, and generally you are expected to have superior odds because your opponent is forced to spread 
212-221-311. And if they are actually four or five man grouping, ignore them, especially in the early to mid, because that means you are winning XP thanks to your Vikings. If they are split, you can come in with four people, use Power Slide, use your Feral Spirit and Tracer's Chase and uh, Rhaegar's Critical Bite to finish them off. So that is why it's more okay to give up the Chain Lightning talent at level 4 that can give you more healing. That is why I felt confident, confident to take it. But I'm actually thinking I might take uh, Spirit Journey in uh, other games. Baby Rage. That bolt was kind of important for us, no but now they're ready. Done, team. We know they just paid, so why are we still chasing? Of course. I think we can call ourselves lucky that the entire team didn't collapse on us and make it a 4v5, instead only killing Zagara.